Uh, in a moment, Illinois Congresswoman uh, Jen Schakowsky, one of the Jewish members of Congress who spoke out for Congresswoman Omar yesterday. But first, some of what she said on the floor. I don't need any of you to defend me against anti-Semitism. My friend Ilhan Omar, we have worked together to the, val the values that I treasure as an American Jew and that she treasures as an American member of the I uh, Islamic woman, the only one on the Foreign Affairs Committee. That is the third largest religion in the world and we in in the United States of America I am just furious we have seen all kinds of anti-semitism from the other side of the aisle as Congresswoman Schakowsky yesterday I spoke to her earlier tonight Congresswoman I appreciate you joining us Speaker McCarthy said that, that the removal of Representative Omar from the Foreign Affairs Committee was not a tit for tat because Republicans had removed her from only one committee while Democrats removed Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from all committees. Is that a fair comparison? You know, first of all, thank you so much for, uh, for having me. It's just ridiculous. Marjorie Taylor Greene was uh, so, th th the hypocrisy is just overwhelming. I mean, this is a person who had advocated violence, um, was uh, talking about Jewish uh, space lasers that were causing fires in California. Um, and the vote to take her off her committees was bipartisan as well. So I, I don't know um, what the uh, speaker now is talking about. The hypocrisy is just overwhelming. Have you received any feedback from constituents about your support for Representative Omar? Oh, lots of lots of feedback. Uh, about a million people now had seen what I said on the floor of the House, and I would say the vast majority has been popular. Um, people have agreed with me. They think it is wrong for this woman, Ilhan Omar, to be removed for, from her committee, especially after we have seen the anti-Semitism from the other side of the aisle. And now they're saying that she has uh, not is not worthy of serving on the Foreign Affairs Committee. The only Muslim person on that committee, the only Muslim woman, of course, on that committee for the last two years without any problems. So a, a couple of House Republicans have said that the move was made not because of her race or religion, but because of solely her past anti-Semitic comments. They point to, you know, Congressman Schiff and Swalwell were also removed from committees. Do you believe them that race and religion did not play a role here? Oh, I don't think there's any question that uh, a, a woman of color, a Muslim woman, that they don't want her on the committee, and the accusation of being anti-Semitic after we have seen certainly uh, former President Trump talking about how fine people on both sides were in the, the anti-Semitic rally where a woman was killed um, when we have seen several members, including the current whip, the new current whip of the House, Congressman Emmert, um, saying that Jews um, have paid for elections, um, and even Kevin McCarthy himself, who, who said that he thought that rich Jews were really buying the Congress. I mean, is this a sign of what is to come over these next two years? Is this what, I mean, is this just the beginning for you? Oh, I don't think there's any question that this Republican majority wants to find the games that they can play that are gonna try and put Democrats in a bad position. But I think most people see that this is really fake and, and, and phony and that what we have seen over and over from the Republicans um, at advocating for, for violence, advocating for insurrection, and now they're gonna blame this woman who apologized unlike any of them ever apologizing for anti-Semitic mm. remarks, um, to take her off her committee where she has served well for two terms in Congress. Congressman Schakowsky, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.